Every year, the entire month of April is dedicated to a very important telethon. We get the opportunity to talk about addictions and mental health. We're here today at the Caritas School of Life Center. I understand that no many media have been invited here. So thank you, Silvana, Silvana Tibolo, Program Manager. Thank you, Antonio, and, and welcome. Welcome to our, uh, our hidden little gem. Um, this is where hundreds of individuals have regained their life for a better life in their recovery. And uh, we don't disclose this place because we want them um, to be well as they spend their time here in their recovery. Of course. Sivana, we're coming out of a difficult pandemic. How are things here at Caritas? Well, the pandemic did not stop uh, Caritas from operate, operating. In fact, uh, during the pandemic, um, we were busy every single day. We had to reduce our staff. We had to reduce, um, you know, entries and, and, and live groups that were happening. But at the same time, we ended up with a wait list of over 50 people wanting to get help. My time here, I've learned a lot about uh, responsibilities, morals, believing in myself, learning how to build self-esteem, and pretty much building my self-worth. If I wasn't here and, and if I didn't come to Caritas, I would have been pretty much lost in my life. I realized that I was going through a downslope where it was snowballing to no good. Now that Caritas has helped me find a way of building a new life, and I find it it's uh, it's helpful because my life was unmanageable, but now that I do see with their help, I see the light at the end of the tunnel. In 2006, I um, came to Caritas for help. My life was uh, had become a bit of a mess, and. Uh, Making the decision to come to Caritas was a big one. I did the program here for uh, 20 months, back in 2006 to 2008. And I must say that it was the best decision I ever made in my life because it helped me to change my life, to become a better person. And uh, after many years of being clean, and I, when I completed the program, I was asked to come and visit, and when I came to visit, it was six years ago, uh, I started to work here as a coordinator, and I'm still here. We had a wait list of 22 people that were looking for a subsidized bed, and what that means is beds that uh, would be covered by, by government funds. Unfortunately for us, we only have two government-assisted beds, so the rest of the beds that we have um, we, we help the individuals through our fundraising and some of them pay a small portion of fees. How's the success rate here at Caritas? Our success rate is, is quite high. For the individuals that complete the 24-month program, um, we have an 85% success rate. And that's quite high compared to other high. programs. Um, yes, there are programs that are 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. They help, but do they help build a lifestyle that's going to keep you on the road to recovery for a lifetime? Because it is a lifetime journey.